The Lake Victoria Basin ecosystem is one of the critical ecosystems in the country that supports social economic development and is rich in biodiversity and natural resources. <laughs> Lake Victoria Basin, however, continues to face environmental threats and challenges which must be tackled in order to realize the desired socioeconomic benefits and regional integration in environmental management. To address these challenges, multifaceted strategies and approaches are required. Lake Victoria Environment Management Project Phase 2 LVEMP2 is being implemented within the East Africa partner states in the Lake Victoria Basin and selected river catchments for the purposes of addressing environmental degradation. In Kenya, the project is being implemented in the upper catchment of the South Rift region, Nyando River catchment and the lakeshore areas covering a total of 3,550 kilometers. The LVEMP2 Kenya objective is to contribute to the wider East African community's vision and strategic framework for the management and development of the Lake Victoria Basin, spelled out a prosperous population living in a healthy and sustainably managed environment, providing equal opportunities and benefits. To arrest the water pollution in the basin, LVEMP2 Kenya has initiated the upgrading and construction of sewerage systems in Kisumu, Homa Bay and Bomet towns, all in the Lake Victoria Basin. So in the project under water and sanitation, we have rehabilitated two sewer systems and constructed one sewer system. The two sewer systems rehabilitated Homa Bay and Kisumu. The one which is newly constructed is the uh, Bomet Sewer Facility. And uh, as, uh, as per now, all the three are functional. Homa Bay is fully operational, people have been connected, and the sewer load is now getting entrance into the facility, and the treatment is on adequately. Kisumu also, the expansion which was done at Kisumu Sewer, sewer Facility is fully operational, and it has brought a lot of improvement in the treatment of the sewer there. And in Bomet, as we talk now, they are now starting to connect the hotels and the individuals to the sewer facility. Kisumu town has an estimated population of about 500,000 people, and only 8% of Kisumu city environmental impacts on the lake. The lake is also the town's main source of water supply. As part of solutions to the environmental challenges to the lake, rehabilitation and expansion works for the sewerage systems in Kisumu were undertaken and funded through LVEMP2 Kenya. It is worth noting that Lake Victoria Environment Management Program, LVEMP2, is one of the key projects under my ministry, which is the focal point for the project in Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, the official commissioning of this facility today is a big boost to the development of this city. It is also a big achievement in the implementation of LVEMP2 Kenya. There are numerous benefits that are associated with the expansion of this facility. An improved sewer system will most importantly 
reduce pollution load into Lake Victoria. We are aware that pollution is one of the factors that contribute to the infestation of the Lake Victoria with water hyacinth. Hence, the expansion of this facility will significantly contribute to improving the lake's ecosystem. Reduced water pollution will also diminish the associated waterborne diseases. This facility is therefore expected to greatly improve the sanitation for this city. The sewerage treatment is for the reduction to acceptable levels of biological oxygen demand, BOD, to ensure that the sewerage does not pollute or contaminate any water resource into which it is discharged. At completion, it is envisaged that a total of 48% of the city will be sewered, leaving 52% of the city unsewered. The biggest beneficiary will therefore be the people of Kisumu, who depend on the lake for their water supply since there will be improved water quality. The Homape sewerage system was constructed in 1979 and covers an estimated population of 50,000. By early 2005, most of the sewerage had broken down, leading to interventions by the LVEMP2 Kenya. Rehabilitation works undertaken in Homer Bay Town sewerage included the seaward line of 4 kilometers with a capacity of 5,651 cubic meters per day, new inlet works and three ponds with mechanical and electrical components. One pond was built bringing the total number of ponds to four. The facility is complete and was handed over to the county government of Homer Bay by the Minister of Environment, Natural Resources and Regional Development Authorities. Today, Madam Guest of Honor, you are seeing for yourself the big environmental revolution that has taken place. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to sincerely thank the World Bank and, and, and the Levent too for picking Homer Bay as one of the beneficiaries of this noble project. Indeed, we feel humbled. I will confess to you that this project has not only raised the profile of this town, but has also boosted our fight against water pollution. As something that we cherish and we feel very, we feel is very important as a part of the development. The flow of raw influent into the lake into the lake will now be a history from this point of view. With this project, the prevalence of water borne diseases will also have been reduced because there was so much in this area at that time. Today, the residents of Homer Bay who depend on the Lake Victoria have improved water quality, which is expected to create a better environment for investing within the town. Pit latrines and septic tanks were the main sanitation facilities in Bomet town. These facilities polluted water resources in the area, more so River Nyangoresa, which is a tributary of River Mara. The river was endangered by discharge from the septic tanks and pit latrines. It is for this reason that LVEMP2 Kenya decided to prioritize the construction of Bumet sewerage system in line with the project's objectives, which are 1. Improvement and management of transboundary natural resources of Lake Victoria Basin states, 2. Improvement of environmental management of target pollution hotspots and selected degraded subcatchments for the benefit of communities who depend on the natural resources of Lake Victoria Basin. The official commissioning of this facility today is a huge boost to the development of this town. 
It is also a big achievement in the implementation of Level 2 Kenya. I wish to congratulate the Level 2 Kenya team for their valiant efforts. Many thanks are also due to the contractor for completing the works according to the contract terms and conditions. Ladies and gentlemen, there are numerous benefits that are associated with the construction of this facility. An improved sewer system will most importantly reduce pollution load into River Nyangores, which is a tributary of the Mara River. At the same time, this investment will contribute to the conservation of the Mara ecosystem, which is shared between Kenya and Tanzania. We are all aware that pollution is one of the factors that contributes to the water hyacinth infestation in the Lake Victoria. Therefore, completion of this facility will significantly contribute to improving River Nyangores and ultimately Lake Victoria's ecosystem. With the completion of this facility, the sanitation for this town will greatly improve. To ensure that the water quality within the basin is continuously monitored, the water quality laboratory in Kisumu was built afresh after it had been burnt down during the 2007 after election fracas. The main purpose for building the laboratory is to generate data and information to be used for decision making to ensure good quality water for human consumption and other users that provide national growth. At the laboratory, quality environment and social economic data is generated analyzed, interpreted, packaged, and stored in publicly accessible GIS-based database. This ensures that the quality of water at any given time can be ascertained and any pollutants found can be easily dealt with. Once you have a good sewerage facility like this, it attracts even the investors, even the tourists. That smell which used to be there, it is no longer there. That is a big benefit to this town. That is because of the work of Livem. Bomet was having a problem with the river Nyangores. And now we have taken the bigger mesa. With the usage of that facility, now we are now having clean water discharged to River Mara. River Mara eventually end up in Lake Victoria. So those are the mesas we have been taking to clean up Lake Victoria. Thank you.